Good morning, everybody. How everybody doing today? Yeah, I just decided to get up this morning and make my wife some diced potatoes and onions with some um, steak. And um, she's up there right now getting ready for work. And I'm about to prepare her a nice lunch to take so she can take to work with her. Welcome to Jay and Monique's TV. Let's go. Okay, fam, I'm just going to dice these potatoes up. Just like that. Just dice them bad boys up. Man, I can't believe I'm up. It's only 5.31, 5.41 in the morning. And I'm up doing this. But I don't mind, that's my wife, y'all. Y'all know I love her to death, man. You know? She wanted to take some doggone noodles to work. I told her, hell no, you ain't taking no damn noodles to work. Shit, what I look like letting my wife eat noodles. I mean, don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with Raymond noodles, but shit. I'm not letting my wife eat no damn noodles. Not if I can help it. I can understand that everybody loves Raymond noodles, but damn. I mean, I can understand sometimes, but nah, now if I could, if I could get up and cook for my wife, I'll be damn. I'm gonna let her go to work, eat some damn Raymond noodles. I mean, I love to cook anyway, so I'm not gonna let her go out there like that. Not if I can help. Let me tell y'all something, fellas. Let me tell y'all something, ladies, fellas. If you got somebody that's got that got your back 150%, do what you gotta do to help and make them happy, man. You know? And then people be wondering why they lose good people in their life. It's because you know, you just got to take a leap of faith and try to do right by that person, man. Especially when a person is your wife or your husband. You know, come on, man. You got to open up your heart, man. You know, become a different person. Don't be don't be messed up, man. You know, don't be so messed up. Because, see, when you least suspect it, it'll, it'll come back in and surprise you, man. And be like, like, thank you, you know. And, it, and now, if you don't get thanks after you done did something like this, something is wrong in your relationship, you know. You know, just make sure the person that you with appreciates you, you know. You know, be appreciated. Ain't nothing wrong with being appreciated because some people ain't have to get up this morning do this kind of stuff for anybody. But if you got an appreciate, appreciation person that you with that values you, dude, hey man, you not wrong with getting out your bed and cooking a nice meal for your woman or your man. Let me get the onion, y'all. Be right back. Okay, got the onion. Yeah, man. It's about doing right, man. It's about doing right, man. You know? When you get older, you know, it's about doing the right thing, man. Even when you're young, try to do the right thing, man. That'll give your your life some good blessings along the way, you know? You continue to do right, and watch how fast people will do right by you, man. Yeah, man. But make sure you're just doing whatever you're doing. Make sure you're doing it for a person that appreciates you. 
And if they don't appreciate you and you can't even get a simple thank you for what you did that morning for that person, that person is ungrateful as hell. For real. There's a lot of ungrateful people out here that feel they think they're entitled for you to get up out your bed and do what you're doing for them. There's a lot of entitled people out here. So be careful. Alright? Be careful. Alright, I'm gonna um, rinse off these potatoes and I'll be back. Okay, fam. I'm simply adding my oil to my skillet. Just like that. Letting that skillet get nice and hot. My bad boy is about to be cooking. up a little bit for you guys and we about to fry them potatoes mm. yes sir so yeah I'm going to cook the steak last they are thawed out I had them thawing out in that um, warm water just waiting on this grease to get hot right back. Okay fam, I'm back. I had to test it out. Grease is nice and hot. I'm only putting in the potatoes right now fam. No onions. Not yet. So we put the onions in there right now. This bad boy is going to burn up. Uh, save that for last, man. Mm -hmm. My wife loves her some nice potatoes and onions, man. I do too. potatoes. Alright, so now I'm going to season it up while it's in the pan. Alright, some garlic powder. Some seasoning salt, some of my adobo seasoning salt. Yeah, I think that's all I'm putting in that. No, some sage not seed. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to cook these bad boys up like that. Get them bad boys nice and brown and soft. And then I'm gonna add the onions. Then after this get done, I'm going to cook the steak. Alright fam, I'm back. Just giving them a flip. And um, yeah, I'm just giving them a flip. I'm going to let them go for another 10 minutes. Then I'm going to add the onions, y'all. Okay fam, I am back. I'm about to add the onions to this bad boy. Potatoes is done. Just sitting there watching TV, chilling, man. Getting everything ready for the morning. Monique on her way downstairs. So yeah, 
there. I'm gonna let them onions soften up. Then I'm gonna take these bad boys out and then add the steak. Okay, fam, time to take them, take those potatoes and onions out. Got me some pepper, paper towel in the bowl here. Just gonna simply add that on in here. Watching TV. We getting we gonna woke up. Monique is down here now. And Monique is down here. Her sneakers on and stuff. I'm about to have her at work exactly before seven. I'm about to season up them steaks. Throw them bad boys right on in here with this stuff. Yes, sir. Get all this onion debris out of here. I'll be right back. Okay, fam, I'm back. I'm about to lay the steak down. Okay, so if y'all want to know what kind of season I put on here, I had to add, uh, I had some, uh, some jerk seasoning. Garlic powder, it's an adobo seasoning sauce. And that was it. So yeah, I'm gonna cook these steaks till they're done. And I'll be right back, y'all. cooking Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.